episiotomies are sort of a controversial issue because they come in and out of favor over the course of several decades. And people often come into the office and they say, I don't want an episiotomy. What do I do to avoid one? And I always sort of like to educate people about them a little bit because episiotomies are not always a bad thing and some women absolutely need them and some women don't. And I think it's important to understand the history a little bit about why we started doing them and for women to understand why we do them before they say, I absolutely don't want one. Um, if you read a book on midwifery that goes back to like 14 or 1500s, it's fascinating. Um, many, many years ago, before we had the ability to do episiotomies and there were only home births and no hospitals and no suture material, women just delivered at home and tore. And 50% of women who tore, meaning, and an episiotomy is basically just for people who don't know what it is. It's a cut that's made between the area between the vagina and the rectum, what's called the perineum. And it's made with a pair of scissors to allow more room for the head to deliver. And the idea behind the episiotomy is to protect certain tissues in that area. We don't want to tear the anal sphincter. We don't want to tear into the rectum. So we try to cut the vaginal tissue and the skin and protect the more critical structures that prevent women from being incontinent.